think of Raw tonight. Man, Hulk Hogan is back where he belongs. WrestleMania oh, shit. The the Watching the, uh, the WWE Network backstage fallout. They got, you know, X Woods and Dolph. I didn't even think Dolph was there. What the hell? Save your contract signing. Uh, stabbing somebody in the hand with the so. police in the building. He's insane. This is going to be crazy. Mania 30. Crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, whatever. Crazy uh, the they're really trying to put over this 30, fucking Dennis. Undertaker and Byron, thank you very much. You know, that was you know Brock Lesnar deal. Yeah, let me turn this shit down. <laughs> uh, so I guess my my initial thoughts going into WrestleMania 30 is uh, extremely disappointed. Uh, originally had planned on a trip to New Orleans. Uh, you know, me and Amy were gonna take the weekend. I was gonna take the whole week because the Braves are opening. You know, the home opener is like that Tuesday, but whatever. Um. The problem I have with WrestleMania 30 basically boils down to the fact that everything is predictable. Um, one of the things that I, I enjoy most about wrestling is you always, like, it's fun when you don't know the outcome. You know, like, everyone knows the scripted and they, you know, whatever, that's predetermined. But it's fun, like like during the Elimination Chamber, um, you know, me and Amy were watching, we're like, we know they're going to screw Daniel Bryan, like, we know, we knew three months ago they were going to do it, and yet, there was like a little window where, you know, Bryan kicks Undertaker, like, holy fuck, they might let him win, and then he loses, like, oh, I fucking knew it, you know, that, that shit is fun to me. Uh, normally, Undertaker, Lesnar, I get it, but... Not at WrestleMania, because one of the cool things about the streak is it it makes it cooler when you think The Undertaker might lose. And one of the things I didn't like about booking CM Punk versus Undertaker, like, I'm CM Punk's my favorite wrestler, huge CM Punk mark, but I knew they were not going to let Punk win. You know, like, no matter what they did, Taker was going to win. And that's, I get the same feeling going against Lesnar. Like, why would he lose to Lesnar to put Lesnar over who, who may leave after WrestleMania is over, you know? Um, I would have rather him go against, like, Bray Wyatt or, you know, even even Cena. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm a very anti-Cena guy. But could you imagine Undertaker versus John Cena at WrestleMania 30? Like, wow. You honestly wouldn't know who would win. <laughs> like that that is like the only person that could probably end the streak. Um and that would add so much more intrigue to the match. I don't I don't think Lesnar I mean I've seen like three Lesnar matches since he came back. One of them with CM Punk, one with Triple H, and then like the big show and, and it's all like just brutal chair shot. You know, stairs, big slams, like, it's nothing intriguing about it. Um, the Undertaker with Shawn Michaels matches were so great because they were like stories. You know, the same thing with Triple H. It was like the end of an era and, and these old guys, like, still trying to hold on to the glory. Having Undertaker face Brock Lesnar just doesn't have any meaning to me. Um, you know, and everyone's so excited. Like, my Twitter timeline is like... I don't get it. Um, people just really like this idea. Um, I don't. As far as the main event goes, there's no way that the title match can be the main event. What's up, Skid? Uh, it's, uh, oh, fuck. Let me pause this. All right, I'm back. Had to give out my email and password to my cousin because we are, we are, as much as I was, like, anti-WWE Network, of course I bought it. I mean, what the fuck? Of course, right? Uh, so, as you can see, watching some of the WWE Network now, this after after Raw show, um, whatever it's called, backstage, Fallout, Boy, or something. Um, but I'm really not excited about Mania. It's, off, it's really disappointing for WrestleMania 30. <sighs> it's just bad. It's cool that Hogan's back, but they had the... The real American Hogan, I would have much preferred NWO Hogan, just me, for like, you know, he, the black beard Hogan is more relevant, <laughs> I guess because I was a bigger fan of the NWO than, you know, eat your vitamins and say your prayers, but, you know, I get it, uh, we still got six weeks to go, a lot could happen, apparently Cena suffered like some major injury, um, 
we'll see how that goes. You know, Cena had like tricep surgery and was supposed to miss nine months and he came back two weeks later. So, you know, whatever, dude's a fucking machine. As much as I hate the guy, he's a beast. Um, so far, I'm okay with the network. I was watching some of WrestleMania 20, Chris Benoit versus, uh, that was uh, Shawn Michaels and Triple H, so I'm going to go back and finish that. There's just so many great things. Went back and watched the, um, the Punk and Rock promo. The arms are too short to box with God promo. <laughs> Shit's great, man. So this, this, I'm all on board with the $10 a month for the WWE Network. I like that, you know, kudos. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not one of those people that's too big to admit when I was wrong. And I was shitting all over it, but I like it. I like it. It's cool. It's a cool idea. Just as far as, <laughs> like, raw sucks, you know. Everything about the past is great, but, you know, Monday Night Raw is just so garbage. And apparently on SmackDown, Dave Batista is going to tell the fans how he feels. And it's like, oh my God, such a fucking baby face promo. Like, I'm just glad the fans have a voice and they can boo me and it doesn't matter. Like, man, shut the fuck up. We've been hearing Cena say that shit for a decade. You know, I don't care if they cheer or boo. It's all about the universe. And that shit makes people hate you more. Because it's so fake. Like, it pisses you off when people boo you. Just say it. Like, why the fuck are y'all booing me? What the fuck did I do? Like, you know, just say that. And people will probably cheer that because it's more genuine. Uh, but I'm probably going to hook up the microphone and get the studio going tomorrow. This is just um, the first little video I'm recording on my new phone. Got the about two years late on the Galaxy S4 here. Uh, but it seems to be okay. I don't know how this is going to sound. Hopefully it's not too shitty. But those are just my thoughts of Monday Night Raw, February 24th. Hey, there's Hogan. Going to watch some more of this uh, backstage Fallout Boy. And then uh, probably go to sleep. Fucking tired. I was kind of sick today. But this is about wrestling. It's not about me. Peace.